Stick with me as I teach you guys how to make hooch. Now hooch is basically the cheapest alcohol you can make. It's the most bang for the buck. You'll sometimes hear it referred to as uh, prison wine, like Pruno. But what I'm showing you today is not really Pruno. Pruno is like where you get whatever you can find, like rotten fruit and ketchup and, you know, whatever has sugar in it and you put it all and ferment it. It's kind of like the prison stuff. This is a little step above that. <laughs> this is this is hooch, which is like cheap juice or a mixture of leftover juices. In this story coming up, I am going to make two different kinds. I'm going to make juice that is just like really cheap cran apple. You know, like the family jugs you buy at, at Walmart or Target or something. Um, so it'll all taste of one consistency. And then the other thing I'm going to show you is what you do with all the leftovers. You know when I keep telling you, okay, we're going to brew, but uh, pull a cup out before you start. Or drink some before you start, because you can't ever use the full gallon. You need a little airspace. All those leftovers kind of add up. And uh, what do you do with that stuff? So what I did is I made bonus hooch. I blended all of them together and did hooch again. And uh, I'll show you how that turned out too. So stick with me. I think this is going to be a fun story. So I've already done a series on brewing hard cider. Pretty much everything's the same about sterilization and all that. You can go back and watch it. I'll link to it. It'll appear up there somewhere. Um, but you can also make hooch. And hooch is basically like finding any sort of cheap juice, like grape juice. Of, you'll hear about it in prison, like prison hooch. Um, it's pretty much the cheapest way to make alcohol and the easiest. Now what you can do... Right, let's move over to here. What you can do is get something like this. This was like three or four bucks. Um, you can almost make two batches out of this. You know, it's a lot. Now I have all this nice equipment, like the jars and the bubblers and stuff. But if you really wanted, you could just unscrew the cap, pour a little bit out, dump the right amount of yeast in, dump a spoonful, you know, a, a cup of brown sugar, mix it up the best you can, and, um, and put a balloon over this. If you don't have a bubbler, you can just stretch a balloon and the balloon will fill up really big. The balloon will get big and big and big, and you'll be able to drink that within four or five days. So it's the cheap way to do it if you don't have any equipment. I'm going to still run it through the equipment. So I'm adding uh, the warm water. Remember this has to be about 100 to 105 degrees or it kills the yeast. We measured the yeast out on this this time. <laughs> okay. And um, we'll just stir that up. Everything else is very similar to this. Just going to stir it until it becomes like white and throffy. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so we're going to start by pouring that in and then pour the juice on top of it. I'm going to pour this and the sugar together. So you get a cup of brown sugar. I like brown, it seems to blend better. You can use white sugar, whatever you got around. You can use maple syrup, honey. Anything with sugar, whatever you still eat, you can use it. Put that in there. And it's about a scoop for every gallon. So if you've got something that's, you know, four gallons, you can make a lot. So here we go. Fill it as best we can get. This is cranberry apple, so I'm hoping it'll have kind of a more interesting blend and taste to it. And we are making prison hooch. All right. So that's it. We lock the top on. And remember, if you're going to use a bubbler, you fill it up just to the mark. There's a little mark here that says max. And we screw this on really tight so it doesn't bubble out the sides. We're going to move it over to the heating pad. And it'll be ready to drink in five, six days. All right. Oh, and it is good to kind of swirl it around. I forgot to do that. It'll actually start faster. And in a few hours, if you did it right, you'll start seeing bubbles appear. It'll look like tiny champagne bubbles coming out. You'll be good to go.
was the part with the crayon apple that was really you know pretty simple to do this is going to be what do you do with all the leftover juices you have in the house like something's half done and you know you got some maybe concentrate in the freezer and just blend it all together and I'm going to show you how that turned out so this is a tip for what you do with the leftovers. I've got a little apple juice, got this cherry tart that I used all the way up, and some cranberry apple. And over here I've got some concentrate apple juice that I put some sugar in. So what I did is I dumped the cup of sugar that normally goes in into this, heated it a little, and uh, it broke all the sugar apart. So now I can easily pour it down this funnel. Now here's the deal with these is, this is the traditional one, this is a, a gallon jug of wine that I just kept the, the glass, and uh, you just pour it down a funnel. But you, what you want to try to do is mix your sugars before you do that so you don't have to deal with it later. Just getting sugar down this funnel is a pain. So the yeast is mixed up, I actually just took some of that juice and mixed the yeast in there. And we'll pour that in there, best I can get. And then I'll just pour the rest of all these things together and shake them. And this is a little bonus thing of all this leftover juice you have around the house. This is true prison hooch here with a free bottle. And I'll put a bubbler on that bottle. So there we go. If you don't have a bubbler, you can use a balloon and save some money. So my bubbler cork didn't fit right, so we're improvising with an old birthday balloon. Um, and it didn't fill all the way. We didn't have enough juice. So this is going to be really strong for what I put in. It's definitely going to be prison hooch. And uh, we'll see if it's even drinkable, but it's all the leftovers. It's kind of fun to try. All right. See you in a few days. So I removed the... the <laughs> I removed the balloon and smelled it. It smells like just like uh, yeast gas. Wow. Woo! <laughs> this is going to be strong stuff. So with the prison hooch, it was kind of an afterthought. And because of the narrow neck, this is going to be... Uh, I'm going to have to actually pour this. So I'm going to use a coffee filter. Cheesecloth works the best, but I don't have any. So you just put on like a rubber band around what you're pouring into and use a coffee filter so it doesn't get a bunch of the yeast uh, particulate. So here is the prison hooch. It is done. And again, I leave the very bottom because that's usually where the worst stuff is that'll make you hungover and sick in the yeast. Now, some yeast is going to get in here, but hopefully the fridge will knock it back. And you can put it outside and freeze it a little bit. Um, I've heard that kills the yeast. I've never tried it. Uh, but that is how they make Applejack, which is kind of like how to distill cider with ice. Maybe one day we'll make some Applejack. So here's my drink. Uh, let's see how the hooch came out. So here we go, first sip of prison hooch. This was a mix of all the juices I had left over. So we had some apple juice. I had um, some very, it was tart cherry. It was like some organic tart cherry I got from my uh, brother's girlfriend. And uh, some crayon apple. So it's a lot of flavors going on, but let's see what happens. <laughs> it was also about half... Um, half the bottle so it, the alcohol is really strong I bet tastes like a red wine um, it is definitely stronger I would I bet that's somewhere between uh, maybe 12 to 15 percent alcohol I don't have a meter to read it but that's powerful Wow um, tastes like a, a surprisingly decent red wine if you like heavy red wine so there you go, a uh, bonus hooch over leftovers. It's awesome. There's also one thing I forgot to say. Like, this one is pretty full. Um, you can do what's called burping, where you just pop it open for a second every day, and that'll keep it from uh, blowing up the bottle. <laughs> so, like I said, you kind of want to start drinking it, but unfortunately I made three batches at the same time for this demonstration, and there's no way I'm drinking all this. Uh, this is the crayon apple, hopefully... I'll have that out in a day or two. I'm letting that keep going. I hope you enjoyed that. It was surprising that it actually came out really good. I didn't expect I expected it to be more like Mad Dog 2020, you know, like where it just sucker punches you. It came out more like 
port wine, like a, a hard red wine. Uh, now that could have been because I used a lot of cherry. It kind of gave it a, a tart flavor. Um, I'm actually really impressed that this turned out. It is so easy. I mean, really, there's like three ingredients, juice, yeast, and sugar. It's, it's a breeze. Oh, and if you got a balloon. If you don't have a balloon, by the way, you can use anything that holds uh, air. So you could take like a Ziploc bag and rubber band it. And if the bag's big enough to hold all the gas, it'll work. Uh, you can really go low tech on this if you need to. I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say this because uh, if you guys are listing, you know, all, all states have different laws. And in the U.S., they most states, I think you have to be 21 everywhere now to drink. Um... So, but in the rest of the world, there's places where they don't really care about what age you can drink. And when I was a kid, you know, getting alcohol was everything. Like when we were drinking in high school, it was really difficult. And if I found out that I could make my own alcohol this easily, like, you know, in my closet without my parents knowing, I could just go buy some apple juice and uh, no one would be the wiser. Brew it, you know, Sunday night and it'd be ready to go for the weekend next weekend. Oh my gosh, I would have probably been in pure alcoholic in high school <laughs> it would have been bad so if you're a kid disregard all that because uh, if you're an american kid if you're some other kid that where you're allowed to brew have fun go go become a brewmaster it's the easiest simplest way to brew that tirade added i'm pretty sure youtube is going to demonetize this video and it's it's probably not going to stay on youtube real long but the good news is it will always be at these alternative videos, speech and library, and you can go over to DTube and steam it, or Minds or BitChute. The videos will live there in forever. Um, I think the word I was looking for was perpetuity. They will live there for perpetuity. Uh, if you are over at those sites and you really enjoyed this video, do me a favor, man. Throw me a little alt currency or vote me up on mines or any of that sort of stuff. It really helps. Uh, I'm trying to transition off YouTube. I, I don't like being so dependent on the YouTube money. And uh, I feel like a YouTube welfare queen on the, the ad money there. So I am crossing over and trying to get people to support me via Patreon. So if you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way to support your favorite video creators. And uh, I do stuff uh, for as little as a dollar. So you can support me for like a pledge a dollar a month. And help me get off the YouTube teat. I would love to be free of it. So if you do believe in that, uh, support me over Patreon or any of those alternative platforms. I really appreciate it. If you're brand new, please subscribe. I do lots of stories. Um, uh, all of them have a positive message of self-improvement. This one here... It teaches you how to save a little money, makes your life a little better. You can kind of, if you're going to continue to drink, you can at least try to control it and make it a little healthier. Not that there's like a healthy drink. <laughs> it's still alcohol. It's still killing your liver, but at least you can do it with less chemicals. Uh, so it's, it's it's a little uplifting. I'd like to think this, my brewing series is, is, is my questionable series. <laughs> Although it is, I feel it is positive too. It's, it's actually really fun and you don't have to drink it. You can actually make alcohol too use for other things. You can use it for fuel. You can uh, use it for astringents. It's just really neat to learn how to brew. And, and cider is so simple. So, so simple. I love it. So anyway, if uh, you are still watching this on YouTube, you'll see stories appearing right now. You can just click those. Those will take you to more of my brewing series or uh, some other video. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting me. So go ahead and start clicking and keep watching.